Check, check, check. Hi, everyone. I'm Leela Paymai. Welcome to the kick. Welcome to the kickoff performance of this year's New Works Fest. Yeah. New Works Friends Fest runs through May 15th this year. Now in its second year, the fest is an outgrowth of the San Jose Jazz Aid Fund, which was conceived by the SJZ Board of Directors to provide direct financial support for musicians affected by the coronavirus pandemic. To find out more about the initiative and a fun way to help support it, read about it on your fest guide or visit sanjosejazz.org. While you're there, discover a partial lineup for our 32nd Summerfest, which runs through August 12th through 14th. We'll be announcing more of the lineup in May. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everyone to set their mobile devices on silent so everyone can enjoy the performance. And you're welcome to take photographs or videos, but please no flash. You're also welcome to get up during the performance to go to the bar or the restrooms, um, but please make sure you stay outside of this yellow tape area to keep both our performers and our crew safe. Now let's talk about tonight's artist. He's a sought after guitarist known for combining soulful blues and rock with the language of bebop. He's a founding member of two very popular bands, Super Soul Bros and The Alliance. He's here tonight with his newest project. And please help me welcome to the stage, Brian Chu and Honey Knuckles.
everybody. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. <laughs> I'm super nervous, um, but thanks for having us tonight. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next tune, because <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore. Kellen.
Darian Gray, everybody. Amazing. Um, that tune was called Honey Knuckle Shuffle. Oh, I turned it off myself. That's my bad. <laughs> Let me start over. Darian Gray, everybody. That was sick. <laughs> uh, that was a tune written by Tony Peebles here on sax called Honey Knuckle Scuffle. We had uh, Callan Crap on guitar soloing there, as well as uh, Kevin Wong over here on the keys and bass, holding it down. The first tune we played was a tune that I wrote called Stratosphere with Darian and Kevin's help. Um, yeah, so it's really good to be here. I'm, I'm so stoked that this many people came out. I had no idea <laughs> that you would all come out for us. Um, but <laughs> um, and I'm not usually the MC or the forefront of this band, um, but I'm so glad that all of these guys wanted to do this and help me out um, with this break room concert. So thank you guys. <laughs> all right, so let's probably move on to the next tune. We're all, by the way, we're all playing, this whole set's going to be basically um, original material that we're recording for our first album. So we just first started playing last year um, around springtime, right when things were opening up again. And um, yeah, there was just so much chemistry and it's so fun to play with these guys. I'm happy that we're going that route. And it's going to be tight. We don't know yet. It's a work in progress, but <laughs> we're, we're actively like in the studio doing stuff, so it'll be sick. Let's go on to the next tune. This next one's written by Kellen Crabbe.
Yeah. That tune is called It's Good to Be Here. All right, next up we got an arrangement by Tony Peebles. Um, does anybody like D'Angelo in here? All right, cool. Dope. If nobody said anything, we would have just skipped it, but just kidding. All right.
by Tony. Darren Gray on drums again. That was a dope ass solo. <laughs> As always. Um, all right. I feel like I should say more stuff. Um, <laughs> but I just want to play more music, man. All right. <laughs> it's what the people want. So I'm going to roll. Yeah, I'm going to roll with, <laughs> roll with it. This next one is a Another one by Kellen. We don't know what it's called yet.
Bell Crap, everybody. Tony Peebles. <laughs> I just named. I, you okay, just named it. I just named it. I wrote it on New Year's Day, just to do it, and um, I just decided. What now? That's it. Why not? Yeah, you know. I like the name. Just get off on the right foot. So, but I just I just titled it today because they pressure me every time. What's the name of the song? <laughs> and as a placeholder, I put the date, which was one dot one dot two two. Which I like, 1.1.22, yeah. you know, the modern standard, but uh, <laughs> now I titled it, Each Day I Try to Understand More. That was so much better than if I tried to. Anyways. That was deep, man. <laughs> All right, ready, Kev? This next one written by Kev. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
For your mama by Kevin Wong. Beautiful three part harmonies at the end there. Cool. So, it's that time of the night where we have to play um, the song that I wrote for, um, that I'm contractually obligated to play. No. <laughs> uh, it's my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's called Heartstrings, and uh, I. Uh, when I was writing this tune, oh, first I got called by uh, San Jose Jazz, um, and I had learned that I got the, the grant, or that I was able to participate in the grant. And I wasn't sure, because, um, I don't know, at the time, I was just not really confident that I could handle like my workload, and I didn't know... Um, if anything musically do, I was doing was all that great either. Um, and <laughs> But when I wrote the song, I just kind of um, gave it to my friends Neiman and Hubert or over here. I don't know if Neiman's here, but um, yeah, man. Like, uh, 
a couple of friends gave me the confidence to play this, and um, it's called Heartstrings. So, so write it. And uh, yeah, that was a dumb intro. Let's just play the song. <laughs>
heartstrings. You guys like it? <laughs> Man. So I think we got, how much time, do we got time for like one more, one or two more? Two, okay, let's do two more. <laughs> Something even faster than that? <laughs> <laughs> How fast do you think we can do skunk funk? All right. Um, all right. We're going to close the night with two of Kev's originals. First one being Sky High. Hey, all in, right? Yeah. Yep.
Yeah. <laughs> well, last song of the night. <laughs> Wants to play more? <laughs> oh, man. I'm just in awe. And, uh, like, <laughs> one more set. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Um, we got, man. I'm just at a loss for words, as you could probably tell. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, let me introduce the Honey Knuckles again. Um, man, I don't think I would be here without these guys. Um, they're amazing, amazing musicians, and they make me feel good playing music, and I just love it. <laughs> um, man, I wish you all could experience it. Um, maybe one day. Um, Kevin Wong on keys and bass. Dude has three brains. Um, <laughs> Kellen Crap, the amazing. Tony Peebles on sax, saxes, effects. And the guy holding it down, bapping all night. Darian Gray on drums. All right, we're going to close the tune out, or the night out, with one more tune. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't got to introduce myself. You guys already know my name, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, last tune? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Tune's called On the Eat.
That's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, guys. Once again, the Honey Knuckles. Darren Gray, Tony Peebles, Callum Crap, Kevin Wong. See you guys again, hopefully. Give it up one more time for Brian Chu and the Honey Knuckles. What an amazing start to our New Works Fest 2022. Catch us here tomorrow with our second performance by us two. And we'll be back on Saturday as well with Michael Tiny Lindsay. Hope to see you there.